We're going to talk today about the proper sizing of heating and air conditioning units for your home. Well, if, you, if you've got a unit that's too big, you may not know it until the summertime hits. Uh, generally, the, the units are specified on cooling loads and the heating works out just fine. However, uh, a, a unit that's too big from the cooling perspective, um, everybody thinks, oh, that's great, I've got plenty of horsepower. Well, it doesn't run long enough. All it does is it comes on, runs a few minutes, and shuts off. And you're like, well, that's great. Well, it's not. Because what it does, it cools a house down, but it doesn't remove humidity. Now you've got a 72 degree house or 70 degree house, wherever your set point's at, that doesn't feel comfortable. Why? Because you might have 55 or 60% humidity in that home. That unit has to run to dehumidify. So <clears throat> if you have the unit properly spec, it will run. Typically, they shoot for about a 20 minute run cycle. In sizing a unit for home, there's many different variables. Some people use a, a manual J computer system, and that's great. Uh, other people go and, and, and shoot from the hip, and the best way is a combination. Mainly, it's experience. Uh, uh, if you've got a multi-level home, uh, maybe two levels, three levels, or level and a half, and you've got one unit serving it, well, I tell you, you got problems typically. So. Uh, the ideal situation is to have one unit for each level, but that doesn't necessarily uh, work out. So we can modify uh, through control systems, dampers and whatnot, that would uh, allow a single unit to serve both uh, lower level and upper level. Um, square footage is a big part of it, but construction is, is also a, a huge number in, in the equation. For example, uh, my house built in 1992, and insulation's okay. So uh, you got somebody's house built in 1948, uh, insulation is probably not okay. So there's a big difference in what type of unit you would use. And you know, we can make suggestions in insulation would really pay dividends for you, uh, especially with heat pumps. Uh, heat pump units are very, very critical to have the insulation proper. How do you find out? Well, it's easy. If you, if you call us, we've got a gentleman who comes out at no charge. His name is Tommy Gentry. Very experienced man. He's worked in the field a long time and he's very honest, hard-working man. Tommy comes out, uh, spend perhaps an hour, I would budget at least an hour, hour and a half, uh, go through the home, go through the duct work, see what you've got in the way of uh, one story, two story, insulation, north, south, how do you face? Where do you set your thermostat? Are you like my neighbor, keeps his thermostat set at 68 degrees and his run, unit runs cooling all year? Or are you like my wife who keeps our stat at 78 degrees and I have to have a fan on me to keep uh, married. So, you know, there's a lot of differences in how you do your home, and everybody's a little bit different. But if uh, you call us, we'll have Tommy come out. It won't cost you uh, a nickel, but you'll have good information that's accurate and well priced.